hello hello i hope you're having a beautiful day today i'm having a little bit of a rough time actually not just today recently i've been having a little bit of a rough time i'm struggling a lot with nausea it's very strange it's not something i used to deal with i have a mint in my mouth if i'm talking weird to help with the nausea hopefully i don't know if you've heard this but i heard that as you get older and as you mature your period changes a little bit and it might get a little bit worse as you get older so when i was younger i didn't really deal with like a ton of cramps or nausea or back pains just like mainly a little bit of cramps and that was it and now at 20 i i don't really have back pains anymore actually those came and then they went i struggle with really bad cramps and really intense nausea usually it's a couple of days before and the first few days of my period but now it's not going away this time i don't know why but i had my it was my time of the month probably about a week ago at this point and so it definitely should be gone by now and i'm still really nauseous like extremely nauseous sometimes it's super intense sometimes it's sort of normal like i'll drink water and if i'm really having like a bad like moment the water the thought of water and the thought of like me drinking water makes me so sick i can hardly keep it down i'm definitely not pregnant or anything so it's not that i don't really know what it is like a lot of foods i have a hard time even thinking about food let alone like actually eating them so right now like the safest bet when i'm really nauseous is our carbs carbs are okay but like meat and stuff anything like that i really can't do but it's weird because I just had a burger and fries. I'm in between my classes and I needed to eat something. I'm trying to cut out meat, I really am, but I didn't really have very many options because there's about two restaurants near Pepperdine. So I ate a hamburger and some french fries and while I was eating it was like okay the first few bites and then by the time I was like wrapping up my meal I was very not okay. I didn't even finish it, I ate like half of it and I'm still not okay just like thinking about eating that so I don't know what's going on I told my mom that yesterday and she was like you need to go to the doctor immediately which I really need to but anyway on that note I'm gonna go back to campus for my last class oh yes you're such a pretty girl you found the sunspot you're so pretty. <sighs> Hi. My evening is filled with homework, filling out a study guide for an exam I have coming up. I have an essay due in two days. I need to read two very long books for my upcoming exam. So I have a lot to do. It won't be a relaxing evening, so my self-care will be very shallow and include a bath and ice cream. But it is extremely important to take care of yourself and take breaks for yourself which is something i did learn during covid because i used to see like self-care and taking time for yourself and taking time for things you enjoy and are fun and being all right with switching off i really struggled with that prior to the pandemic and after the pandemic during the pandemic and now i've learned and accepted that it is very okay for me to address and acknowledge my need for me time and things like therapy and like journaling and meditating and like deep healing and also surface level healing like baths and going to bed early and maybe choosing sleep over that one extra credit assignment so even though tonight my evening will be filled with <laughs> just a simple bath and maybe some ice cream as I continue to work on my homework, I have been doing a lot of like deep-rooted healing through therapy and things like that. And this amazing site that I found, Cerebral, really, really helps and tackles a lot of important issues. If you don't know, Cerebral is an online mental health service that provides access to medication management, counseling, and therapy for anxiety, depression, insomnia, and other conditions all for a flat monthly rate. Treatment for ADHD, bipolar, and PTSD are available in certain states. 
Cerebral allows you to take care of your mental health through a therapist or a provider or a care counselor all online so there's no more scheduling around your life or getting in the car and wasting so many minutes driving to the office. You can just really take that time in the safety and comfort of your own home to talk to someone you trust with issues that are really important and delicate. Through Cerebral, you can message your care team at any time. So it's amazing to know that you have that safe space and that help right at your fingertips. In certain states, you can see a prescribing provider fast in as little as 20 minutes with their instant live visits. And another amazing aspect about Cerebral is you have a comprehensive team. Your therapist, care counselor, and provider are all communicating while you're taking care of yourself. If you are going through a stressful time, Cerebral has options for you. They provide grief, trauma, relationship, and family issues. Um, they help with all of that, so you're never alone. You can start Cerebral with or without insurance. However, um, Cerebral is in network with certain insurances. It is three times more affordable than traditional therapy services. It provides a consistent flat monthly rate at a far more affordable price. It is so easy to go to the site and choose a plan and get started on taking care of yourself. You fill out a short online form, answer a few questions to help Cerebral understand your symptoms, and from there you can choose to subscribe to one of the three membership options based on your needs and or your budget. So if you would like to take the first few steps towards your mental health, click the link in my description and it'll take you to the questionnaire and you'll get connected with the provider right away. And your first month starts only at $30. Like I mentioned, I have had quite a journey with my mental health. Obviously I grew up in extreme circumstances and didn't deal with it until far later in life recently. It was around the time that the global pandemic started that I started to take some time for myself and really really focus on therapy. If you watched my video from a very long time ago, I talked about how I struggled with eating disorders. I've talked to therapists about that. I am a huge huge proponent and fan of therapy and talking and getting the help you need. I don't think there's any shame in acknowledging that you may not you that you may need help and there are people there who want to help you so it does you much more good than harm to take advantage of it and to start taking care of yourself because it doesn't matter how much you do on the outside to take care of yourself if you're not healing your heart and giving your heart the love and attention it deserves and needs then you're not going to see an improvement on your life. Right now I'm actually not actively seeing a therapist but I do talk to a lot of spiritual people at the moment and I think eventually I will go back to therapy but just right now I find a lot of, I've found peace within therapy, I've gone through a lot of that and so now I'm just really enjoying the peace and quiet I have worked towards by doing that inner work. So yes, that is my little mental health spiel and I really really do encourage you to go take those first few steps towards your mental health and to give yourself some love. Now it is time to go back to homework and give my brain some love. I swear I do more than horseback ride. It just happens to be the only thing I've been walking lately. I'm still in school. I'm still doing so many auditions taking acting classes. I'm still hanging out with my friends, but <laughs> horseback riding is just like the new thing in my life. So um, I did just have my weekly class and she, my instructor gave me a new horse to ride with, which I've never done yet. I've stuck very faithfully to my horse, like the school horse. One of the school horses, her name is Grayberry. But today I got like a much bigger, much more energetic horse. His name was Rem is Ronaldo. It's very, very difficult for me to just like fully enjoy something and only have fun with it. Like of course if I'm like doing something that you can get better at, there's a part of me that's going to come in and want to improve 
and so today like riding on a new horse a bigger horse a more temperamental horse it was just very new for me and so I didn't do that well and I'm a little bit disappointed in myself but it's also just like my passion hobby so I'm trying to just stay focused on the fact that I'll have another lesson next week and it'll be fine it always like when I first started riding, like the first lesson was a mess. The second lesson was way better because like I just thought about it all week and like muscle memory and just thought about what I could have done better and what I should do to like help me. And so I think next week will be fine. Plus I'm gonna go back to Greyberry for a few lessons, like just continue learning and like adjusting and getting used to it, muscle memory, and then I'll try Ronaldo again so it's gonna be a second before I see Ronaldo but he's so funny like all he wanted to do was eat I like gave him two mints and then he was like stomping his like his leg and I was like what does he want and um one of the caretakers Peter was like oh he wants another mint <laughs> so I thought that was so funny because he was just being like a little <laughs> a little sugar head <laughs> He just wanted more food and then afterward he like brought over a banana and he was like I know he's gonna want this so I fed him a banana but Ronaldo was really cute much bigger than Greyberry uh, and something like it's all just new it's all just an adjustment it wasn't my greatest week but that's okay because I'm next week It's already two o'clock and it's very windy. I don't have anywhere to be. I'm gonna come home and do homework. So I just throw on a pair of jeans and this very old t-shirt from Zara. These jeans are like my least favorite, but also they're the most comfortable. They're just really baggy. So like they lose their shape very fast and just like hang on my body, which is why I dislike them, but they're great when I just wanna be comfortable. So this is my outfit. These are the two perfumes I've been switching between. So this is by Erin, Mediterranean Honeysuckle. And this is the classic Baccarat Rouge 540. This smells delicious. This is my favorite, but it's very like, some. it feels very summery right now. And this is a very summery scent. So I've been using this as well. And I love the top. I am going to take a bath right now. I need the self-care. I just need it. I really like don't need to take it, but I want to, so I'm doing it. <laughs> but these are my favorite bath salts ever. They're from um, Bully. Bully is my favorite place ever for bath supplies. That's where I get my bath soap. That's where I get my body lotion and body oil. Now the bath salts, they smell so delicious. I use the heliotrope scent if you want to try them out. That is it for me. I'm logging off. 